Hello, in this episode, I'll show you how to start mapping using OpenStreetMap. So first thing, make sure you have a well-connected internet and open one of your browser and type in OpenStreetMap. Then in this first link, uh, click OpenStreetMap. Here you are at OpenStreetMap. So first thing you need to sign up so that you can contribute or you can be recognized that you contributed in OpenStreetMap. So go ahead, click sign up. So unlike other maps, uh, OpenStreetMap is completely free and anyone can fix, update or download or use the data that he or she contributed. So after signing up, you'll get an email that will confirm that you've already signed up and you can go ahead and start mapping. So here it's where you will type your email. Then here you'll type your email. Here you will type your username that will be displayed in OpenStreetMap. Here it's where you will type your password. And here it's the last step where you will confirm your password that you typed. So after doing all those, you can simply uh, get an account by clicking sign up. So immediately after signing up, you'll get an email that will confirm that you have already created an OpenStreetMap account. So you go ahead to login. Here it's where you type your username or email address. So mine is Eric Tamba. Yes, this is my password. So I'll go ahead and log in. So here it's my account, Eric Tamba. And here it's where I will uh, start uh, contributing to OpenStreetMap. So before we start uh, contributing to OpenStreetMap, let us see the tools or the interface of OpenStreetMap. So you can see this hand, which is a pan tool that allows you to move your map up, down, left, right. Also, you have this zoom in and zoom out. So at this stage, you'll not be able to edit any uh, map details. So in order to do that, first you need to zoom in to the location that you want to map. So use this zoom in tool and this pan. So go ahead, zoom into the location. So I'll go ahead to uh, Morogoro here. So I find Morogoro. So after you have zoomed in uh, to this place, you can see this edit is activated so you go ahead to this drop down bar or uh, arrow you can see uh, edit with id editor so we'll use this id editor to edit so just click id editor this is the id editor and it's the one that will allow you to start mapping uh, your community or your home places or any other places so this interface will allow you to add point uh, lines in case of for loads and uh, other paths. And here is where you can add uh, area or referring to building uh, plot areas, farm places. So let's go ahead and zoom into the location so that we can see these features clearly. So use this uh, zoom in tool. Here and use this hand so i will zoom into a certain building so for instance here i can see it's a building so in order to add this building to open street map just click area here and you can see the uh, hand has changed to this uh, cross so i click to one point of the building uh, to the other so that you can form a square like then at the end uh, double click you can uh, also right click and uh, make a square a square cornered building so here it's already uh, highlighted but 
here it's where you select the feature type so this is a building so i'll just add the building so if you know the place uh and and the fields like the common name or the levels you can type them so i after doing that go ahead and uh click save here so uh click save so here yeah, it's where i will add the chain set so put this dot or same then after that i will click upload so the change or the edit will be uploaded to OpenStreetMap. So here it will say thank you for improving uh, the map around Morogoro. And this is where you can see what your map. So you can click that change set and you can see that you have Eric Tamba has added a new building to OpenStreetMap. So you can add as many buildings as possible and other features. So in the next episode, we'll see more options that we have with OpenStreetMap. Thank you. So get started mapping your community or home places and contribute data to OpenStreetMap.